Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Real, and welcome back to Your Turn to Die, Chapter 3. Previously, we did some puzzles with our new friends, who we all love very much. Uh, I actually kind of see how this works. What's in the bathroom? Wonder what this place is. Think it's the bathroom? Kind of shitty, meow. I want to go in, Wolf. Eh. Well, it is bad for your health. Uh, we don't have to go anymore, so lucky us. Shh. Don't see stuff, it's hard to respond to. You're making it awkward. Door's firmly shut. Shh. It won't open. Shh. Even at the escape. Huh? That's not good. Ha! Huh. It's like for humans. Oh god, oh no! Oh man, oh god! Oh god, oh man! <laughs> Bruh, it's one thing after another. Some real poor taste here. A painting of now. Now that's not nice. This is an edited photo. What would you make this for? <laughs> Damn it! Rico, don't look. It's just trying to provoke us. I know that, but I can't let it stand. I get up like it's amusing. I'll make you apologize in the afterlife. Shut! A painting of an execution. I know which that one is. This is a seam device that was used for mine, Kana's first trial. Don't, Kana. Over here. Yes. A painting of unpainted section. I can see borderlines. It's like a coloring book picture. A painting of someone in a painful state falling to the ground. Scenery. Some scenery. A painting of Sova, wide smile. So, so you're here too. I wonder why this painting is here. Kana. Kinda wishes she could have seen him like this. A painting of blood pouring from a hand. Oh, that's a uh, secret agent cook man. A painting of a woman collapsed in a pool of blood. This seems somehow familiar. That's Keiji's partner. A painting of Joe. Sarah, don't look. I'm all right. I won't be led astray by things like this anymore. Even so, I don't want you to look. A painting of Midori. I'm not a painting. Midori! How are you feeling? Anybody die? I'm never AI, I bet. Nope, just a video call. I observe all the floors. You damn coward! Show yourself! Just as dumb as your brother, Reiko. I want to win too, you know. <laughs> you bastard. You're really pissing me off. Anyway, do you want something with us? Ah, uh, right, right. I thought I'd give you some advice. Soon enough, I want you all to know. <laughs> know what? Oh, just everything. Your last memories with me and... The reason Asunaru is having you kill each other, too. <laughs> then say it already! I want a good explanation. <laughs> It'd be a waste for me to say it. Well, which one is it, Wan Wan? Didn't I tell you? Discovered on your own power. It's alright. I've prepared hints. Within the floor. I've made a few places that are rich with memories for you all. The key is remembering your past. Ah huh? uh, yes, and this murderer game. Of course it has a time limit as well. Meow. It's until the dummies run out of battery. In other words, it's our lifespan. How many hours do we have? If it runs out, we're our lives. I've got high hopes for you. Good luck. Now see here. The painting went motionless. Damn it! He's screwing with us! Still, that confirms it. 
The organization that kidnapped us was Asinaro. Asinaro. The orphanage was named Asinaro too. Is there a connection after all? Who knows? Was there anything dubious about it? Don't know. Everybody was real friendly, I mean it. You wouldn't want to think about it. But the good people around you might have been involved in this theft game. Let's search. There are hints somewhere on this floor. That's right. It's time for action, not worrying. Kinda wants to know too. Midori seemed to know so, after all. Yeah. Midori's painting isn't moving. I'm gonna like... We should like draw some like excise over it. Like vandalize it. Just out of spite. Just be, just, just be petty. Hmm. Oh god, it's number four. Hmm. Elevators. How far do these go, Mao? Huh. They don't seem to be working. The buns do nothing. Is it not powered? Four is written on the wall. So this is the fourth floor. The doors are firmly shut. They can't be opened by force. Hmm. Lockers? Is this a locker room? Yeah? Shady place, I tell you what. Careful searching here, Sarah. Huh? Right. There's a black stain on the floor. Did something drip down here? There's a red stain on the ceiling. Is that a blood stain? No doubt about it. KG. It's dangerous here. Why on the ceiling? Why is there blood on the ceiling? Don't know. But it's not dripping now. It probably got cleaned up. Plus, some time's passed. <laughs> what happened in this room, bro? I'm betting some trap or another already activated in here. Did someone come to this room? And quite some time ago at that. Midori? The first trial. Was this room used for a first trial? Could be. Despite that, the dummies aren't really showing any reaction to it. I was thinking it was one of them, but... Yeah, surely they'd be startled to see the room they died in. Bro, I don't want to be here, one one The locker is open. Nothing's inside. Like my soul. Protrusions like shelves. I wonder if there's something on these. Maybe there's a floor above us and it leaked through the floor? Huh. Sarah, you done searching here? Yes, I don't see anything else of note. In that case, it means you search all the rooms in the floor map. Damn binary. It was nowhere. There were a few places we couldn't go to. What should we do? Hey, just an idea, but... Maybe we could split up and stretch in pairs? Not with you, Ranmaru. But I'll die! That's the point. We've seen all the traps in the rooms. More efficient than searching as a big group, right? He's right. We do have a time limit. Search separately. Alright, let's search separately. Right. Now you're talking. Kana, has a go with this person? Too bad. I'm no good at babysitting neither. I'm going with you, Kana. Who knows what this guy'll pull. <sighs> so what? Her and that annoying big sister are a package deal? <sighs> Damn, what a pest. No one wants you, clown. Oh yeah, Sarah. You got a minute. Yes? Can't you get close to my ear? Ooh. Cage is close to my ear, I can I can feel him breathing. 
You should keep an eye on what the pairs do. I understand. <laughs> I see. What are you talking about? Let's get going, Sarah. Right. Sorry, Ranmaru. We only go for KGs around here. Goddamn, Kutaro. You have a giant ass. And look at those thighs. Being with my eyes get me down sometimes. Kutaro. Don't get flirty, please. Please don't get flirty. I ain't! You told it to my. Master, don't get chatty. You have to search. Ugh. Be sure to check even the unopening lockers. Keep on off traps, will ya? Of course. No one will be destroyed. How's you guys' endurance anyhow? Are you sturdier than us? Um... Is she gonna take that another way? Or am I just overthinking it? Let's see. No idea. Don't really want to test either. If only they made some super alloy, there'd be no worry of dying. Eh, I wouldn't want to be all stiff. I mean, look, my skin's all soft. Please, sir, go ahead and touch my cheek. Uh... Did you give her a rub? Alright, I'll give him a rub. Ah, uh, not there! It's true. Your shoulders don't feel stiff at all. No way. I'm healthier than I was as a human. Now that I think about it. You wouldn't age or get sick anymore either, huh? Wow, isn't that just the best? Being adults not so bad, actually. How positive. Useless. You're just lounging around. What? Makes me sleepy. Looking after a kid in an art gallery. Go ahead, snooze. We'll leave you behind. Oh, scary. Where's your partner? Rico's. When I think about it now, I feel like I could become a demon. I'm gonna have revenge. We gotta do this. Punish Rico. A demon denied there now. Midori told us to get our memories back, didn't he? Or are our memories erased, I wonder? I'm pretty sure you're, you're related to Midori, as we call him. Normally that'd be inconceivable. But Saflin did have that machine, so I guess it's not impossible. You know, the boxing ring. Can do well with the coffins. I found a broken shovel. I think this might be usable as a weapon if it's reinforced. I'll hold on to it. Nah, no need. Right, Sarah? Because we don't trust you. Huh? Just leave it? Hmm, I think you should leave it here. Well, why? If you're just gonna leave it, you wouldn't mind me taking it, right? Sure, but... I'm uneasy about trusting you guys with weapons. What's that? You still won't trust me? Give it up, Hayasaka. It's a policeman's guy's eyes on us. <laughs> if we can't be trusted, it's over for us. I know, ha. What little less status we have. Yeah, relax, soon specs. I better not, you got me, Wan Wan. Oh, really? How encouraging, ha. <laughs> hey, soon specs, stay next to me, Mao. Yeah, I know. It's my role to protect you, right? What are you talking about, Mao? Look weak, so I'm protecting you, Wan Wan. Uh, thank you. Why well, your leg's so small? Even when there's a room that won't open, why are we searching a place like this? Well, Keiji's my boss, so I guess I'll obey, obey him. Listen, that's our relationship. You get out of here. Seems there's a lot of junk lying around here. And it's so heavy, I hard to make out in the dark. I don't want to use moderation searching here. This symbol has me curious. Yeah. The pairs, see? There's a symbol looks like people. Is this really a bathroom? That's what it looks like at a glance. But the door won't open. If it were a bathroom, it'd be blocked off. You have a point. Hmm? Hold on, the symbol. 
kind of looks like they're holding hands. Oh god. We put a clue for how to open the door. Held Ranmaru's, Ranmaru's hand. It opened. Oh, well, why? Sure enough, the symbol was a hint. I think that's so if you have pears. If the pears die off, you can't go on. This might be a room meant for two people to enter together. Seriously? You're sharp, Sarah. You're too tense, Renmaru. You waste your battery trembling like that. And whose fault is that? Should I go in? Sure. Let's go. Once we enter, we'll have to deal with whatever's inside alone. Gotta be prepared. Right. Oh, it's nice. Also, this is bad with the implications of a pair has to enter. What is this place? It's an awfully fluffy room. Good day. What are you? You, you pancake girl? Every android's just dessert themed. <laughs> Please take it easy. Get away, Sarah. It's an obstructor. I'll get some tea. She isn't attacking. Is she not an enemy? I don't know, but... Let's search before she returns? And anyway, let's search this room before she gets back. A private red book. On the back it says, please return on time. Is this a borrowed book? Red flowers. Is it wandering flowers a pain? If you have love, even wandering can be fun. A fluffy bed. Sure feels like a girl's room. I mean, this is a lot different from my room. A comfortable sofa. The whole room has this nice smell. A compact dresser. Open it. Open a drawer. A paintbrush and paints. I'll take a paintbrush and paints. What are you doing? <laughs> If you want that, you can have it. Anyway, here's your tea. Sure, thank you. Hey, are you not an obstructor? Oh no, I'm an obstructor. But I don't like to fight. I like to listen to people talk here. This is the discussion room. Oh god, she obstructs you by talking. It's like, hey, you know, so how are things going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know, she's she just that type. She just makes you waste her time. Discussion room. Sarah, you've always been with your allies. You never had time to think to yourself, right? Take another look at your feelings. Speak the truth and you can sort out your mind. Truth. Huh. This tea's good. Doesn't seem poison. So Ramaru's drinking it too. Do it. I took a sip of the tea. I was able to relax just a little. Always with my allies, huh? Maybe she was right. I hardly had time to think calmly to myself, because I knew if I showed such an opening, despair would fill my heart. But it's different right now. There's no one here. I... Want to escape with everyone? Sure enough, I want to escape with everyone. I was tormented by hallucinations of Joe, but that wasn't really it. That was my own voice. I was having Joe say the thoughts I was suppressing. Victory is on the line, right? Victory. Only one person can survive. Then the death game will end. Such a scary thing. Wait a second. So only one person can survive this game after all? Yeah. Six people left. The decision is near. It might even be within the day. Yeah, see, she's obstructing. She plants thoughts in the head. It's the most subtle of attacks. She has sweet words to go for a sweet aesthetic. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Inconceivable. We won't sacrifice anyone else. But, you know... Can you kill Midori? I can't sympathize with a low life like that, but... When I see somebody moving around... I guess I can't help but see them as human. I can... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I... I'm going to end this death game. 
Sarah. <sighs> what about you, Ranmaro? Huh? Are you a pair for the objective's sake? Or are you partners? You can get another look at yourself, too. Come back sometime, both of you. Because this is a place to find yourself. I'm exhausted. Sarah, uh... Can we talk for a sec? Let's head back first. I'm a little tired. No, it's important. It has to be now. Professing your love? Are you professing your love unto me? What's with that flowery language? I'm joking. So what's the important thing? There's a person from Asinaro among us. I'm thinking this is special info only I have. Asinaro. In other words, someone from the Kidnappers organization among us. Is it just one? Is there only one? Huh? I... I didn't consider that. All I know is, there's a human from Asinaro. I don't know if that could mean there's more, but... At the very least, the dummies are dolls, so... No way. Unthinkable. Keiji Kanareko. One of them might be from Asinaro. Well, Kitaro was from the orphanage. But he doesn't seem like he's a super smart conniving type. I'd say Kano. I can't conceive of it. Sorry for troubling you, but then Kana can die. So then, if this is the same scene, then that would rule out Kana. Then it'd be Keiji. Honestly. And I, I could see that. I mean, I could see Keiji being a weird triple agent. Or double agent or quadruple agent. As a final emotional kicker. But now was the only time I could say it. Right. I don't know you at all, sir, but... Being just a pair... I kind of don't like it. Sarah, just one more thing. What? No. Sorry, it's nothing. You just can't do that. You can't be like, oh no, it's nothing. I hate that. I hate it. Painting with an unpainted section. Use the paints. Okay, let's try painting it. All right, it turned out great. Yeah, it's just kind of bad. Well, that's a new trick. The painting. Not bad. There must have been a device that reacted to the paint. My efforts painting wasted. There's a device like a circuit breaker. I think this is the power of the elevator. Okay, let's switch it on. So I have a, I'm kind of wondering, so the one android I remember was wearing parts of people who had died. Like they had the little pin from Joe and some other things. And if I remember correctly, I think they were wearing the, the clown girl's top. So they were taking items from people who had died, who didn't make it for the, the, the preliminaries, in so many words. And I'm wondering if we could go back to their design and maybe figure out if there's a twist. Like they're not wearing someone's like item. And it's like, oh wait, maybe that person's not an android. Does it seem to have been a trap? Let's check the elevator. Has it been activated? It worked. It actually worked. What do we do? We just have to call everyone and try it out. Right, let's go get them. Hey, Sarah. KG, so you were here. Where's everyone else? Yep, since Skin was getting eager. I'm the leader. Some guy's search hard to keep my subordinate in check, meow. Gin, your subordinate? <laughs> That's me. We've quickly fallen to an inverted relationship. So, have you learned anything? Not a thing. Well, come to the elevator. We got it working. That's our Sarah. I'll be there. So, Inspector, come along too, Mrow. Right, wait for me. I heard it click near my feet. Hmm? Stepped on something. Huh? Ah, a little mysterious. You're in this room and suddenly a trap is triggered. Who really gets the old noggin joggin? 
Student Specs, are you floating, Wolf? <laughs> oh, so that's how that trap works. <laughs> Student Specs, what's going on, Mian? What's this trap? We have to save him. What is this? Sweet specs! What the? This trap. Calm down. Stay calm. Ayasaka's hanging from the ceiling. Let's observe. It's beginning pulled by thin wires, meow. You just have to untie them, wolf. There's no way to deal with this. There's nothing we can do. It's just the goth. Maybe we should step on the floor switch again. This exacerbates it. Okay, you observe with your abs. If it's like before, there should be tools to solve the puzzle. But this time, I don't see those anywhere. I know the lockers won't open either. So, what exactly? Please hurry! I suck at struggling. My neck, my neck hurts! Someone help! Wait, they feel pain? Why were they programmed to feel pain? I'll save your mouth, sweet specs. Gin step back into the room. Huh? Gin. Not good. This room's dangerous. It's magnetism. The black, black plane on the ceiling is pulling in their collars. No way. That's practically like they're being hanged. I suck at struggling. Here, you go in there, it's a trap. Damn it, where was that switch? I'm looking around there, but there's nothing. And who knows what will happen if I step into the room much further? Crap! Something that was a mechanical noise. Uh, huh? Ow. Are you okay? And game too. Ah. Uh. Hello? Can you hear me? Midori. Sorry, that locker room tra was trap was for an execution, see? I didn't intend to use it. it. Looks like it malfunctioned. I hurried to stop it. Are those two okay? I think it's just suspicious, like he was maybe trying to lure him in purposely. Like, oh, come and save me, guys. Get sucked up by the magnets, too. Gin's... unconscious. So he's alive. Oh goody. We can still play plenty more. What an awful man. How's Gin? He hit his end on the ceiling pretty hard. But thanks to his hood, the wound's minor. But if he hung for much longer, he would have started to suffocate. He would have died. That was no malfunction. He just wants the dummies to. Huh? Hey, what do we do with him? Leave him somewhere? No, if an obstructor finds him, he'll... Hayasaka, you carry him. Me? Gin's your boss, right? Alright, I'll carry Gin and come with you. It's safer to be in group two. Understood. Or is it? Whoa, Sierra, look! The elevators are working. I should add that actually if you check the creator's Twitter, they, they do a lot of art with the characters, like little sketches and stuff. Um, and a lot of inside -y joke things, like they're very self-parody. But they specifically did draw Kutaro um, as a junior high schooler and as a uh, high schooler. And he looks quite a bit different, like he hasn't fully pumped on the protein yet. It's almost like a different character. There's also some funny stuff, I feel like that's poking at the... the weird... F kind of teasing flirtiness that KG does. There's some good stuff there. Again, what happened? Don't tell me, Hayasaka! R relax, okay? Gin's just passed out. Nothing to worry about. Focus on the elevators for now. It seems they work, but 
It's really okay to get on them. There's two of them. Don't tell me, it's one a trap. Ha! Huh. Ride whichever one you like. Try your luck. Which that ride? Right is always right. I'll take the right one. Kinda will go with you. Seems kinda unlucky to not choose the one Sarah chose. Just get on whichever, let's move. So beside ourselves with fear, the elevator doors closed on us. And slowly, we began to move. Unsure of what awaited us, we moved forward. Looks like we arrived without incident. How deep is this place? Hey, long time no see. Good. So you arrived safely too. Kitar had to take his own elevator because he's too huge. What a relief. Guys, Midway might be on this floor. Be cautious. Right. There's a paper on the ground. Wonder what this is. Is everyone well? I'm getting very bored, so I wrote you this letter. I'll give you a map, so please come meet me soon. Midori. What a weird letter. That map does he mean? Sure enough, it's a map of this floor. More lockers. This is where we are now. You can now switch between floor maps. Can we actually go to the other floor? Probably. I don't see why not. So the copy machine room. The Techno Neon Library. Starman. Lockers. And the classroom. For when we want to reenact our classroom romances with everyone. <laughs> Not again! Ah, this room is just like the other one. Careful, everybody. Seems a bit cleaner than the one downstairs. Yeah, it almost feels like an unused room. A small speaker is installed here. It could be removed. Ain't this a voice recorder? Huh, I've got a voice recorder on then. There's a switch in the back. Should I press it? Sure. Press a switch in the speaker. This is the first trial. You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You are not alone. Your fate is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection, and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. Oh! Follow the voice in your heart. That's the whole thing. As I suspected. This room was used for a first trial. KG's? Because KG betrayed his partner. The first scheme we were made to do after being brought here. A cooperation based trial. I haven't heard anything about this done before. Excuse me, dummies. Does this recording sound familiar? Kana. Nope, not at all. Only saw the moment of our death, see? Yeah, the start of our trial was cut from the video. I can't remember anything just before we died. Unless it's so's. Is that so? If this is also a hint related to our memories, we might need to have the discussion of our first trials again. Change the voice recorder. Something's lying here. A transceiver. Change the transceiver. If we had the other one, we could probably use it to keep on use it not to keep contact. This is my, do you copy? Maybe a little bit like that? Yes, this is Midori. What a way to kill me. Huh? <laughs> See you later. That made my heart stop. What do we do with green hair? Should we just like a green hair moratorium? Looks like the other transceiver is with Midori then. Ain't this a school? Attending school feels like it was such a long time ago now. There's a bag on the desk. 
This is my school bag. In fact, this is your classroom. For real? Should we look inside? Then Mara opened the bag. What's this dog mascot thing? That's... Renmaru, could you let me have that? Huh? What the hell? Is it important? It's okay, Keiji. This is a memento my best friend wore. What? How mean spirit to make a copy of it. Do you mean Joe? You know about him. I just heard a little bit. Let's see. Give it to Renmaru? What? Oh, because you like... Okay. Put it in my pocket. Joe, I'll make up for your regrets. I guess you give it to him to like hide because you feel sad or something. I I'm assuming that's what it is and not some like weird like, You're my new Joe now. I chew through Joes every weekend. You're Joe number 522. The last one died in this game, but the one before that died to a terrible Mario Party accident. Blistered fingers. There's a green book. Sure sticks out. There's a piece of paper stuck to the blackboard. What's this? Consent form? This thing! What's the matter? No, seriously, what's the matter? Why do you all know this? How come I don't? This looks familiar! What in the... Where have I seen something like this? I sign... My name... Keiji? Uh-huh! That's right! Kinda also signed her name! Did we all sign up for this? And just don't remember, or at least everyone else did. It took like depressive people. What the? Everybody but me is. Why they remembering the past? The memories of Midori. In that case, why am I not? Gah. I'm so close to remembering clearly. But the important parts are all hazy. Maybe. We'll find out if we proceed. Yes. Man, it's a police station. KG? This your world? Because the classroom was, um... So the paintings were probably now's, and maybe the teacher's. Then the, the police station here is KG's. The classroom is, uh, Sarah's and Joe's. I'm trying to think what else we have. The boxing ring. We know it's the boxer guy, maybe. Maybe the buff characters in general kind of represents him. Uh, we'll see what other room is. There's like a copy room. I mean, there's a quite a few characters that could have been like office-based. <laughs> it's a police box! Kinda makes my heart pound to visit here. A parked police car. Doubt there's any fuel. The door's open, though. Huh. There's a license sitting on the seat. What? <laughs> KG, you alright? I recognize that look. KG? Yeah, sure enough. This must be the place of memories for your friendly policeman. Huh? If we need memories, guess I gotta tell you now. Remember the story I told you about why I wanted to be a policeman? Black hair. Oh yeah, you did have black hair. Ow! Yo, kiddo, hurt yourself again? Ah! It's that patrolling geezer. I usually prefer Mr. Policeman, okay? I'm not a geezer. It's like a cop version of Joe. Leave me alone. I just tripped. Huh. What a fibber. You got in a fight, right? I saw it happen. Huh. Drop by the police box. We've got tasty coffee. Huh. So that's why you started punching. I mean... Those guys were making fun of me. 
Fist of justice, eh? I'm fond of it, but that's not really very nice. Why not? I was in the right, wasn't I? Exactly. The more right you are, the less reason to stop you from throwing hands, right? But cops use force to stop criminals, right? At times, sure, but... Well now, kiddo. Could it be you want to be a policeman? So what if I do? Well, huh. Did you see your friendly policeman and want to become one too? <laughs> Is that a problem? Huh? Kiddo. No, KG. I got something nice for you. Huh? It's Mr. Policeman's good luck charm. That thing you're always carrying? Ain't it important? Yep. I'd be trouble if I lost it. I don't want it. And like, isn't this thing meant as a wish for safe childbirth? Yep. I guess Mr. Policeman's gonna be a dad soon. Mmm. Huh. Okay, let's do this. Keiji, when you become a policeman, come bring this back to me. Who has orange hair and red eyes? What? Well, duty calls. Go visit sometime, Keiji. And don't leave your coffee next time. I can't make any promises. I got my hopes up for you. So, yeah. Huh. Never thought the day would come I'd tell that to somebody. KG. That sure went on long. Well, shoot. Better figure out what you like for next time. Ha! Huh. And here I am, I'm sure this was a place I got ripped off whenever I got the violence. <laughs> what? What an awful memory comparison. The inside of the police box is pitch black. Not even a single desk. It's completely empty. Copy machine world. So many books. This is this a library? Pretty complex for a library. It's like a maze. Just follow a map. Don't go any weird directions, you won't get lost, alright? There's a natural gap in the yellow books. We saw a green book in the classroom. Blue. Green. Hmm. What? Because now it's not because it went funny at similar this time. Only this computer's turned on. Is this just up? Maybe there's some sort of information? I looked at the screen. I saw an image being displayed. Isn't this a picture of me? Then that's... What the... There's hype, there's weight, and some other numbers I don't get. It's almost like a physical exam. Um, can we stop looking at that for now? Saka, he knows about this. Press him. You're gonna burn, all right. Speak, punk. Before I start making you speak. Hey, Saka. What's the meaning of this? Oh, hold on. I didn't research it because I wanted to. This is your computer. What's your aim, you damn pervert? Ah, oh, shoot. I'll confess. The company I work for deals in medical machinery and information, and because of that job... I got to know a man from Asinaro. On the surface, Asinaro is an upstanding company that does clean research. But I learned that it has another face. Another face. They're connected to shady businesses and produce illegal medicines. Things of that nature. I ever heard rumor that among those were drugs and euthanizing medicines. I also heard about inhumane research that wasn't to be spoken of. Thinking about it now, that was probably research into reproducing humans. And so you just gave them my information. Not just yours. I was told to get information on everyone. Bastard. Don't tell me that covers us too. I didn't know. I had no idea what they'd do to me if I resisted. Their power is too immense. It's hardly even an exaggeration to say they control the dark side of society. Shut up. What do you use this data for? The thing on your answer may just have to kick your ass right here. Stop. What are you doing, Mao? Again. 
Oh, I might be carrying around, Wolf. No, let me tell him, stupid specs. Oh, I'm sorry. Confused, stupid specs. You stopped the ceiling trap now? Yeah? Uh, um. We're able to stumble things to you again. I knew it, Meow. Should be grateful, Wan Wan. Thanks, again. <laughs> Duh. Took the wind out of my sails. I actually do wonder if he might have been the cause. Like, him being caught also was, like, not part of the plan. I've been saved. <laughs> I'm a leader, Meow. It's only natural, Wan Wan. You're a big man again. Get me here and show me the wound. I don't think it. My head kind of hurts, Meow. Do something, Muscle Gorilla. Phew. That's me strap on my allies there. All oh, thanks again. This is fond of you. Is he really? Even though he calls me Suna Specs? Yeah. Maybe because of that, in fact. When we first came here, there was someone else in the suit and glasses. Now it's Professor Mishima. It wasn't for long. Again and him and acted together. But he died. Yep. Killed with his collar. Still not sure where his hand is, even now. It is one of the weird things, right? Oh dear. Make it from Gin's perspective. It was the first time he'd seen a person and conversations with die before his eyes. Couldn't he have been saved? Maybe I'd regress like that. It's Gin associating me with him. And that's why he tried to protect me. Maybe so. What an idiot. I nearly died over that. I was sick of somebody barely even knows. I'm not even human anymore. <laughs> Doesn't seem that part matters again. Let's go. You don't want to get separated. Yeah. Hello, book. Rebecca says, please return on time. There's another one, see. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna get the map. We've been everywhere on this floor. I wonder we wasn't anywhere, damn it. Strange. We should have been everywhere. It's just somewhere we didn't go. Like a secret room, say. Kind of think of it. I feel like this floor 5 map is strange compared to floor 4, because it's usually a center room. It's a spot here. Here it is. It has a sack seemingly out of floor 4, but there's no center room in floor 5. Maybe... It's just not drawn on here. It's possible. What would be the point of having such a similar layout otherwise? If it's the same layout as floor 4, there's only one room that connected the center. The library. If there were a center room accessible from this mix like library, it'd be this way. There really was a room here. Midori ain't here. There's a collar on the desk. A collar. Yoink. What is this? If the trap won't explode? Stop freaking out. We're taking it. If we can analyze it, we can find out how to remove these things. What if that makes them explode? Boom. You stop screwing around, stupid. This ain't no time for horseplay. Uh, well, it's dangerous. So let your friendly policeman take it, all right? Hmm? The monitor turned red. What? So? Ah, you called! So, so? Ah, good day. Uh, who are you guys? What's with this guy? An AI! I'm Shin Tsukimi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Shin Tsukimi. So his real name. Ah, uh, do you need something? It's embarrassing with y'all y'all staring at me. Uh, so... Do you know who Kana is, so... So sorry, I don't really understand. Who are you? Uh, how much do you know about the death game? Death game? What's that? That sounds dangerous. Doesn't seem to know a thing. No, we similar. This isn't so. This is probably reinitialized AI, right? What? 
the eyes are brought closer to the real people by updating their knowledge of personalities. In other words, the soul we're looking at is the soul from before the death game. We knew nothing. Or else, she didn't scream me before we even took on an alias. What have you guys been talking about? <laughs> Doubt he's got any info for us then. Even so, I want as much as we can get. You might know, um, the real so. But Midori. The Midori, that is the real so Hiyori. Please tell us about him. The so you've been talking about. Should know if you meant Hiyori, huh? We're actually acquainted, so you want to know a bit more about him. He's a scary friend of mine. Friend? I think it was in high school. I met him at school, and we started talking. But whenever I looked in his eyes, I felt really restless. I was so scared, I started sweating, I got anxious. He really seemed to enjoy seeing me like that. Would you call that... friendship? I only found this out later, but... He wasn't even a student at my school. Who he really is, I really, truly know nothing. But I learned a lot of the things at his house. He had a long acquaintance, huh? Yeah, but he... One day, he died. What are you doing? Hey, feeling the bloodlust. Midori. <laughs> That's mine, don't you know? Now, stop getting friendly with them, would you? So sorry, I'll turn off right away. Now then, say, could you return that call to me? Huh, would it be a problem if you lost it? I mean, that's the color I was wearing. It'd be so lonely if I was the only one safe. No reason to give it back. If you could take it off, maybe we can. Figure out how to remove these ourselves. Sheesh, that calls for the dead. It's made it completely different from your collars. Oh, well, I guess I'll use a spare. You put it on yourself. Are you out of your mind, man? Talk about cocky. Aren't you scared to enter the enemy's camp? Oh, I'm scared. That's why I've got a gun. It has four bullets. What? Don't worry. If you win, you can cheerfully advance to the next floor. But I'll try my best to make it one shot, one kill. I want at least four people with me. Now, shall we? Are we really doing this? Do it. Everyone else jump in front of the bullets. Go. We'll fight. We'll sell the score here. Remember our allies' regrets. I can't let this guy... Okay. Why can't I walk forward? Do I still have to resolve to kill my own hand? Just send Kutaro first. Kutaro could absorb at least four bullets before going down. Can we do it another way? Eh? Violence is just worthless, isn't it? Let's establish rules. And fight for our lives. Right then. Then, why don't we play tag? Midori took something from his pocket and pressed a button. Huh? The person with the red light is it. A thing like this again. After exactly one hour, the person who's it loses. Nice and simple, isn't it? If you don't want to lose, just tank someone. Wait. Still? Questions? Uh, uh. See it clearly. Will tagging someone really transfer who's it? It won't just multiply. <laughs> Why don't you try it out? Wait. Let's go after him, Sarah. We have to give chase. Um... Library? Bro, where'd he go, Mel? Seaweed head! Everyone stop, let's listen for his footsteps to find where he's going. Get... Loud! What's this noise? I can't hear jack shit. Hey, I wonder what that is. 
So Midori's somewhere. No, look over there. Something's coming close. Um, it's Killer Books. Uh, books attacking us. Someone like Evil Dead. Army of Darkness, specifically. Gah, that's so noisy in here, what the hell? It's okay, it's just a book. Let's calmly deal with it and chase Midori. But now we need to focus on the obstructor in front of us. The book is floating midair. Observe. I'm being distracted by this noise. I'll go find where it's coming from. I'll sniff off on these special spells, meow. Who's afraid of a book? I'll be down with my fists. I'll knock over a bookcase and have it crash right onto them. <laughs> Defeat the books with a bookcase. Go. Find the noise. Just heard it. There! I go took a smartphone from a gap below a bookshelf. Take a noisy smartphone. As usual, it's unusable. Looking like rustling sounds, the book began to circle through the air. There's more than books! The books start floating. They're multiplied! I see. Now this is a pickle. It's a little too advanced of technology here. God, if you make noise, I'll crush it for you. Uh, not knowing. Give them me, I'll pound any noise making garbage in the dust. The smartphone broke and stopped making noise. I feel a little refreshed now. The books are noisily clacking their teeth. The books begin to circle through the air. You never books start floating. They keep on multiplying! Where the noise is coming from, she'll go get it. Go. Yes, throw yourself at it. I found it. Here it is. I took an alarm clock from the back of a bookshelf. Do you know an alarm clock? Huh? Can we stop the noise? Books are flying around as if to show off. Books all went to attack Hayasaka. Why is it always me? Hayasaka quickly hid in a bookshelf to escape danger. Now push over the bookshelf. If they're gonna attack us, I'll catch them and put them back in the shelves. Go. Whoa, that's a nice crab. What? I did it again. Put it away on the shelf. You're amazing, Mal. I saw the other books too, Wolf. What? Give me a break. I'm not gonna do any more than that. Still, I feel like it boss a little time. The books are looking menacingly at Hayasaka. Crush it. With your feet. The alarm clock broke and stopped making noise. How's that? It's in pieces now. The books are noisily clacking their teeth. The books begin to circle through the air. The inner books start floating. Everybody stop. This is the library. Let's be quiet. KG signal, everyone stopped. Shh. Focus on my biceps. Just focus on them and be quiet. They'll calm you down. Books return to the original shelves. Be quiet in the library, I suppose. Silence returned to the library. Are you okay, Sue and Specs? Uh, I'm alright. More importantly, where's Midori? He got away. We need to find him quickly or Sarah's collar. Right, my collar. When I bring my hand near it, a red light shines on my skin. Wish so was still around. I just tag him and get it over with. How many minutes passed there? 
Not good if I don't hurry all. Huh. Is my collar tightening? Sarah! No, it's my imagination. I know. I know, don't I? I've overcome this kind of thing again and again. Again and... I don't want to die. You can never get used to this. Huh. No, I can't look uneasy. My allies are watching. I'm providing everyone support, so I... Huh? Huh? Please, let Kana do it. Huh. I feel a warm hand on my back. When we first met, you calmed me down like this, Sarah. What are you doing, Kana? Stop! It's okay. I don't intend to become a sacrifice. I'm sure we can do something. Let's find Midori, okay? Ka nah. Well, I respect the attitude, Kana. Keiji gently touched Kana's shoulder. Ah! It's Mr. X Policeman's turn. Gotta apprehend the bad guy. That's a ticket, Keiji! Want you stepping up, Kutaro? Keiji. Huh. That's uncouth for adults to make a kid cross a dangerous branch. Hmm. Now, we need everyone on this. Let's go up again and search. Yeah, we're gonna find him and end this. We'll definitely find him. Rah, let's go, Wolf! Everyone. Mina. Thank you. Sniff. Why is the little head, like, giving you ideas? Come with a gunpowder, Wolf! Gunpowder! Cut it, meow! Big says Sarah, this was it, Wolf! Can handheld fireworks. Would it be chaos if we use this here? Books are noisily clacking their teeth. Or, should we light the fireworks? Would it be dangerous to play with fire here? No. Uh. Room caught fire. No way! Why is the fire spreading so much? We can't even fight like this. Flames spread for the entire room. This is the right. I don't want this. You're robots. Do you even breathe air? There's nowhere to run. We're gonna. No! Don't light fireworks in a library. Let's just use these other actions while I'm trying to like, hit game overs. Yeah, it hurts! Auntie, you okay? I'm sorry, it didn't go well at all. I think the other one I never used was, uh, you. Punch the books. That's right. Ah, oh, figured it'd be no match. Yeah, hell, never book just came out. That's just past time. The, t the time passing is just for game overs. I just find it funny, like, they put an option just to game over. How are we gonna help find them head on? What annoying books, meow? Come down and fight Monster Gorilla fair and square, meow. That'd be his own kind of worms. Go fight him. Fight books of books. I'll knock him down by tossing books away. That's so brilliant. That's that's some big brain thinking right there. All right, get it good. That's some big brain thinking right there. What? Didn't beat it. And book it for turning an enemy too. Well, shoot. Folks are floating around quietly looking at one another. That's some strange movement. Doesn't seem bad. Books flew towards Hayasaka all at once. Not good, run! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> Damn it, stay away from me! Huh, <laughs> huh. <laughs> 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 Stop it! I'm not food! Stop! Uh-huh. Well, they don't bleed. So you specs? Look up, meow! Hey! Gin! He was faintly trembling. I... I can't protect anyone, meow! That's not true, Gin, you... I can't even hug him. 
My touch gain no count as tagging him. I... I've had enough. Enough of this horrible game of death. If a human doll like Heisaka before me were being killed. And this game of tag, too. We have to catch Midori. Uh. And I think this is probably where it's the same. Yeah. I forcefully hug Gin. Big sister Sarah. Gin, you can't cry, okay? You're a big boy. Yeah. Let's look for a seaweed head meow. Now, everyone in the search, let's split up and begin a search. Hisaka's lying there with exposed internals. Damn it, Hayasaka, 